No sitting U.S. mayor has ever been elected president. Miami, Florida Mayor Francis Suarez is hoping to change that. He is one of more than a dozen other Republican candidates who have thrown their hat in the 2024 presidential race. And Miami Mayor Francis Suarez joins us right now. Good afternoon to you and thanks a lot for being with us. Good afternoon, DeMarco and Ava. It's wonderful to be with both of you. Uh, it's good to have you. So uh, why are you running for president and what do you say to those who say you are not ready, you're not prepared? Well, I would say that I'm uniquely qualified. Uh, you know, like as you said, uh, you know, I'm the only Hispanic candidate in the race, uh, which I think as a Hispanic Republican president, you'd be in a unique position to deal with major multi-decade, multi-administration problems like immigration. I'm the only candidate uh, that has ever had a record of cutting a budget uh, uh, significantly. I've cut uh, the city's budget when I first got elected in 2009 by 20%, which is exactly what we need to do uh, to the federal budget to balance the budget, to get a control of inflation uh, and interest rates that are hurting so many poor families in our community. You know, and I'm someone who understands how to create generational prosperity. I've done that in my city. We're number one in wage growth. We have the lowest unemployment rate in America, uh, and we have a very low homeless rate. So what I would ask people is if they want to know more about me and give me an opportunity to continue this conversation on the debate stage, to please go on my website, www.francissuarez.com. I'm only asking them to donate a dollar to give me an opportunity to meet the threshold to be able to get on the debate stage and have a more profound conversation on how do we change our country. You mentioned the issue of immigration, how you're in a unique position to solve that issue. How would you tackle that problem? It's a multifaceted problem, as we've said. I think the first thing is you have to acknowledge that the, the border is a mess. Um, you have a, a sort of a wave and release policy right now where uh, six to seven million people that are undocumented have come in illegally into this country in the last two years. That's, and, and, and you have 80 to 90,000 people that are dying of fentanyl deaths uh, from fentanyl that's coming through the southern border. That's the equivalent of a 747 crashing every day. If that were happening in our country, we would stop everything and we would dedicate the resources to make sure that that crisis stops immediately. So that's number one. Number two, you have to find a way to decrease uh, the poverty that is being pushed on our hemisphere, much of it through through China's Belt Road Initiative, uh, where they're indebting a lot of South American uh, countries, uh, and they're using that as a means to control those countries and as a means to continue to to push poverty in those countries, which, which of course pushes, uh, you know, which pushes immigration pressure into our city. So there has to be a hemis hemispheric strategy to deal with China. Um, you have to deal with the fact that there are as an unknown number of undocumented in our country. And I think have, being a Hispanic Republican president puts you in a unique position to have that debate uh, and to be able to resolve some of those conflicts because I think a lot of it sometimes comes from the Republican Party. And I think being in a position of leadership is going to allow you to lead on that issue uh, and create some wins that uh, wouldn't otherwise be possible. I have to ask you about this report in the Miami Herald. According to that paper, you're currently under FBI investigation for monthly payments you receive from a Florida developer. They are looking into if those payments were bribes. Are you at all concerned about this investigation? No, not at all. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to diminish it in any way. I've been a public official, a working public official for 13 years. Uh, you know, I'm allowed to have a private sector job. Uh, obviously, I'm not getting paid uh, uh, to do anything inappropriate for a private sector company. Um, whoever wants to investigate me is welcome to do so. Uh, and I will transparently cooperate with any investigatory agency. And I'm very confident uh, that it will result in, in, in no issue. This all started uh, when I decided to announced for president. I've never had an issue in my 13 years as a public figure, and it's a little bit surprising that, that it, it all started now. And uh, Mayor, a final question for you. Last month, the GOP frontrunner and former President Donald Trump was arraigned on federal charges in your city. Uh, he denies all wrongdoing, but uh, you've said in the past that Republicans view Trump's indictments as partisan and problematic. Do you agree? Yeah, I mean, I think they do. I mean, I think I don't think I'm saying anything that's particularly earth shattering. Uh, I, I think Republicans uh, sometimes feel that there's a, there's not an equal administration of justice when they see what they feel to be leniency on the Biden family. Um, and they think that there's excessiveness on the other side. What I'm happy about as mayor uh, is that, you know, we were able to have this event in our city without any issues. There were probably more members of media than there were protesters. And it seemed like sometimes the members of the media uh, wanted there to be some 
sudden some inflammatory event, uh, which didn't happen, thankfully. Uh, I think there was one arrest. Uh, everything happened, uh, you know, without any incident. And I'll say, look, every single person in this country, both from both parties, by the way, is innocent until proven guilty. And I think we, we live in a, in a very toxic world. And I just came from Iowa. And I'll tell you, no one is talking about any of this stuff. What, what Iowans were talking about is the toxicity of the discussion, the fact that um, there's so much division in our country. And I hope my candidacy provides people with a different option, one of unity. I was elected by 85 percent, reelected by 80 percent. I want to bring people together for a more prosperous country. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, thank you so much for Good your to time see you. today. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.